What's up everyone, James here, and in today's video, we're gonna be adding some corals to my nano reef tank. Um, I've just been to the local fish store, so I'm really excited to get them in, so well, let's get to it. So it's been about a week and a half since adding the corals to the aquarium. So uh, let's take a look and see how we're getting on. This is the aquarium at the moment. Um, as you can see, the Calapa prolifera macroalgae is growing insanely good at the moment. Um, and uh, if you take a look at the back there, these are my other corals. So the two that I've just purchased, um, one is the coral let me point to it there and that is a granny apple zoa and the other zoas right there at the very back are bam bam zoas uh, so i believe and um, as you can see from the other zoas that i have um, they seem to be growing really nicely at the moment i've got so many new polyps appearing and uh, yeah they're looking really healthy um, and uh, great my ultimate plan is to make a little zoa garden, um, a group of them, um, but I think that I need to rearrange the rock work really to best place them. Um, so I might be doing a brand new scape on this, but I'm not 100% yet, um, but we'll sh we shall see. In terms of the Calerpa prolifera macroalgae that I've got in the tank, as I said, it's absolutely exploded in this tank at the moment. I'm getting so much growth on it, which is amazing. And uh, one top tip, um, which again, I really struggle to find advice online and uh, there's only one guy who I can ever find any decent advice on when it comes to macroalgae, um, and that is uh, the YouTube channel is called Everyday Aquarist. And um, he often talks about different uh, methods and techniques and one of them is to use planted fertilizer from a normal freshwater aquarium. So it's exactly the same concept when it comes to a marine tank. It's just that for some reason, the internet just does not make it easy for you to find out. So you can just use a normal all-in-one fertilizer to uh, dose for your macroalgae. And when you do, I add a, um, a little bit daily. And as you can see, I've got ridiculous growth since doing it. So uh, yeah. Definitely recommend it if you grow macroalgae. So I hope you liked this video and this little update on my aquarium. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. I put out weekly videos um, on my fish keeping journey. Um, so yeah, make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss out. And until next time, you stay safe.